Hi guys, so it's here, so welcome back to another music albums review. So this time I am reviewing um Selena Gomez and Racine Kiss and Tell album. So this will be Wednesday's um video for this week. So um this album was originally released on the 29th of September 2009. Well, this has been out for a very long time and I only fully just listened to the entire album in 2017. That happens for me sometimes. I don't feel like sitting down listening to albums when I first get them, but you know what? It's all good. So the running time usually goes for 42 minutes. Now, it took me a bit of an hour to really listen to this entire track because I like to sometimes listen to it twice. And as I did for the Fifth Harmony um, one, I listened to it more because I wanted to, to know if I really want to cover it, if I don't want to, and that's exactly what I did. I remember having two songs on repeat for, I think, nearly maybe five to eight times because I was actually doing something else as well, which I shouldn't actually do. But, anyway, so the first track off of this album is Kiss and Tell, of course, for title of this entire album so i love how rocky the song is i love the music and the lyrics um i could see myself covering the song and making a music and fitness video with this song now i think this would have been a great single off of the album but you know what i don't choose how the album goes and that's okay so track two is i won't apologize now this is already another another incredible song i think the lyrics of the music was awesome i definitely recommend you guys going to listen to this track i definitely see myself singing a cover and a music video with this song um track three which is falling down now this is actually one of the singles off of this album and there's only two um, songs that came off for this album which was this and naturally which I will come to in a few dicks so it's got hair on my mouth then so I love how rocky the song is I love the music I love the lyrics definitely see myself covering making music video with this like I said this was a single off of this album and I would track the music link down below now in these videos as well I'm also starting to put some of the um, images of the actual music video in for you guys so um just have a little preview preview and then go down below to check out the music video so track four which is i promise you now this is another cool kind of rocky kind of song that i already did like um love the music love the lyrics definitely see myself doing a cover and a music video with this song so now let's go on to track five, which is <laughs> Crush. Oh man, how many crushes I had in my day. Trust me, I can probably name them all to you, but it's not happening to the people who know me very well. If you know all my crushes, you know me too well. Or I know how to blurt them out too well. But anyway, let's get to the point. So this song has a nice rocky rocky roll feel to, to the song which was really awesome. I love the music. I love the lyrics. Definitely see myself covering the song and making a music video with the song and I can relate with this song so much because some of the lyrics says that um it was only a crush. I was never in love with you I think to me. At the time, I do feel that way. And then when I move on to someone else, it's like, oh, yeah, that was just a crush. So, I can really relate to the song. Literally. Oh, I can just imagine myself covering this. And all you see is my face go all blushy red. And then everyone's like, so what the hell are you going all red for? Well, now you know through free this that I relate to the song so well. But anyways, let's go to track six, which is naturally, and yes, I am covering the song, and this will be with my 2014 covers as well, which I'm hoping to post um, a lot of covers really, really soon. I'm too busy trying to film all of these, um, all of these um, reviews, especially between my TV reviews and my um, reading series and my courses and i'm hoping to enter another course very very soon so you can see why there haven't been much covers on this channel but anyway um naturally i already like the song 
I'm definitely covering the song and I am. Um, you get to fall in love with the song as well. It's very, very relatable in this track. Definitely making a music video with the song because there's so much I can really put myself in and it's naturally to me as well. And the music video for this is also will be down below and you also could have seen little clips, well, little photos of the video as well. So go definitely check it out. So track seven, which is The Way I Loved You Now. The song, uh, how the song is, is very beautiful. The tone is incredibly beautiful. I love the music and the lyrics. And, um, I could see myself covering the song and making a music video with the song as well. So, track eight, which is more. Now, I actually had this song on incredible repeat when I was doing something. And I couldn't stop listening to it. So, I will definitely will be covering this song and making music and fitness video with this particular song. It has a rocky kind of vibe to the song. Loving the lyrics, loving the music and is incredible from um, Selena and, and the scene band. This is an incredible song. So track 9 which is as a blog now. I, I also like the song. I think it was pretty cool. Definitely like the music and the lyrics. I can see myself covering making a music video with this particular song. Um, I love how she says that I'm going to come back as a blonde. Now, I was a bit of a blonde and I'll chuck some photos up of me being an actual blonde. And I'm wanting to go back to more blonde. As you can see, I have severe regrowth. But we had to prioritise where our money is going at the moment. But it's all good. So, definitely wait to see that cover so next track which is 10 i don't miss you at all this was also already another good song that i was already sitting down and actually listening to and i actually had this on repeat because i didn't know if i liked it or not but as i was already sitting down i actually started to like it and yes i will be making a cover and music video with the song so lyrics are awesome music is incredible and definitely check out that song. So, track 11, which is Stop and Erase. Now, this was another really good song as well. Like, some of the other songs off of this track. Um, off of this album, I should say. And, um, definitely love the rocky kind of, um, vibe that this song is coming out. And I know I've used rocky, um, kind of vibe throughout this entire album because that's that's how it feels to me as well and um yes i love the mirror music sorry and the lyrics yes i will be covering this time making a music video so it was a pretty incredible song so let's go to the last two tracks now and um at this point in time sometimes i get issues with my iPod when I'm trying to play a particular song. Now sometimes I do have that problem so I have to go on YouTube to actually listen to the song. So which is track 12 I Got You Now. I actually really like the song. I actually played it a few times and it's actually a really pretty good song. So I do recommend you definitely going listening to the song. Recommend you absolutely. Um love the music. I love the lyrics. Um I see myself covering the song, making a music video with the song and Definitely go listen to the song. So let's go to the last track now, which is track 13. Tell me something I don't know. So this is actually a song that um, I thought actually was an actual single off of this album. But it doesn't say on the wiki type of it. And trust me, sometimes you shouldn't never trust wiki. But sometimes it's my other source. So, uh, let me go on. Oh, no, I closed that down. Okay. So, this track was a basically a single off of um, the Cinderella. Vasilla, Vasilla, <laughs> can't pronounce it properly. I apologize. Um, Cinderella, Another Story. I think that's where this song comes from. Sorry, I'm just going to quickly look this up. Because I know I'm getting this wrong. But I need to check my sources. I should. Um, that's not how you spell it. Now, I remember this being a single off of that. Yeah, 
the movie okay i just looked it up so this song is off of another cinderella, cinderella story and this is from the movie as well so she also started it and the music video i love that also will be linked down below and the song is fantastic yes i think i have covered this i don't think i have but i definitely covering the song there will be a music and fitness video with, with the song <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Wow. Anywho, what do I think about this album in total? Well, since it came back in 2009, um, even though I only just listened to it in 2017, I think it's a pretty good album. I think that um, there's some really a lot of pretty good songs on here that would be made great um, music videos. A lot of incredible inspiration from this album and it's incredible and it's really incredible so how would i rate this album well to me it's a 10 out of 10 definitely for sure because i feel that this is the earlier work of selena gomez and the scene which they did break up years later but this is an incredible album i love it definitely go check it out guys it's definitely worth it so that's all for this one for for Authentically for this Wednesday. So, if you haven't watched any of my other um, music album reviews, but annotation will come up on your screen. There will also be a little annotation of my YouTube channel icon. Go check that out. Subscribe. All my socials are down below, and all what I play, all that I post on this um, channel, also playlist will be down below. And I catch you all for Saturday's. Um, Saturday's video. Hmm.